Well, hey guys, a new month is here. You know what that means? It's time for my monthly favorites and fails video. Everything that I encountered over the month of June that I feel is worth talking about. First of all, summer mosquitoes are in full effect. And as much as I try and wear mosquito repellent because it's super important, uh, you know, I still managed to get mosquito bites. I got attacked the other day and man, they are just so miserable. They're very itchy. In my video on summer skincare essentials, I point out in order to help cut down on the itch with mosquito bites, it's a great idea to have hydrocortisone cream on hand. Apply it there twice a day. It'll help get rid of the itch really quickly and that way you don't scratch. It's the scratching that leads to more itch. But something that I discovered, I mean I knew about this, but I started doing it myself and man, I think it's even more impressive than relying on hydrocortisone cream, is the Mighty Patch. Hydro colloid patches. So these are pimple patches and I'm talking about them in a lot of videos. They're great if you're somebody who picks a pimple because they serve as a barrier between your fingers and the pimple helping it to heal but they also absorb any exudate and ultimately that helps flatten the pimple out. In the case of a mosquito bite though they also help keep you from scratching. I swear that it, it, it takes away the itch almost instantaneously having that barrier there um, and it makes sense because any evaporative water losses are going to enhance the sensation of itch. So you have that anti-itch effect and the barrier from scratching. But a lot of what is contributory to the mosquito bite being a bump is the fact that there's a lot of swelling there and the inflammatory response comes in. And that's what leads to all those itching mediators that get kicked off, making you want to scratch. It's swollen. Hydrocolloid extrudes that fluid and it helps flatten the mosquito bite out. So they heal a lot more easily. See, when there's a lot of fluid in there under the skin, it's more uh, cumbersome for the skin to heal and recover, so it takes longer for the mosquito bite to go away. If you have deep, a deeper skin tone, that's going to lead to hyperpigmentation. Now, you don't necessarily need to use the Hero Cosmetics brand. There are other hydrocolloid patches on the market, but I find that the Hero brand stays on really well. They make patches for the nose, and I have a couple of them, and I've actually been cutting those to fit over the mosquito bite. So if you have some of the bigger patches, uh, you can actually cut them into smaller shapes to cover over a mosquito bite. Um, so I've been doing that, and I thought I would share that with you guys if you got attacked like I did. See, it's the scratching that not only makes a mosquito bite itch, but makes it slower to heal, and you can also introduce bacteria into the bite and lead, that can lead to impetigo, a little bacterial infection. I often talk about hand eczema and hand irritation in the winter months. A lot of people, including myself, deal with something called dyshydrotic hand eczema. It's miserable, it can be triggered by touching certain things, hand washing, nickel, uh, and sweat. And because it can be triggered by sweat, for a lot of people, it actually is worse in the summer. And I'm personally experienced, have been experiencing some flares myself off and on. And last month, I shared with you guys how I've discovered the Gold Bond Eczema Relief Hand Cream, and this has been a saving grace as a daily maintenance hand cream. It's very affordable, free of fragrance, absorbs into the skin very quickly. But um, I wanted to remind you guys of something that um, I share in a lot of other videos, but I have really been personally using myself a lot over the past couple of weeks to months, and it's definitely been helping me out. And it's just a simple white cotton gloves that, I got these on Amazon, they're pretty inexpensive, they come in a little mesh bag. But what you do is you put the moisturizing hand cream on in the evening before you go to bed, and then cover the hands with these gloves. Now I can actually sleep comfortably with these gloves on my hand and it does a few things. First of all, it, it traps the moisture in the skin, helping to cut down on itch. The sensation of itch really intensifies at night. So it helps reduce evaporative water losses that aggravate itch. And it also helps, you know, really drive that hydrating, those hydrating ingredients into the skin. But it also cuts down on you scratching. So one thing about me, when my hand eczema gets flared up, the itch gets worse at night as I mentioned, and it wakes me up in my sleep. Whenever you're scratching in your sleep, it's disruptive to your sleep. That's why people who have eczema, they can easily get sleep deprived. Children can become sleep deprived because they are scratching all night, not getting good sleep, and then they have trouble focusing in school and it can really be a problem. So all that to say, highly, highly, highly recommend these 
cotton gloves. Uh, they're really comfortable. They don't make your hands overheat. Uh, they're very breathable, lightweight, and you know you can reuse them over and over again, throw them in the washing machine. The particular ones I have have a little elastic here so they stay on, they don't fall off. Yeah, highly recommend those if you deal with hand eczema, but if you just wanna rejuvenate the appearance of hands um, and you've been using a moisturizing hand cream that you know you like, but you just wanna kick it up a notch, try, try doing the glove thing. You know, I can sleep with them on my hands comfortably, but if you don't like that, just try wearing the gloves for a couple of hours. It really, really can make a huge, huge difference. Now I'm gonna get into some skincare products that I've been trying out over this past month, and I wouldn't necessarily call them like a fave, like, oh yes, this is my new holy grail, or a fail, like this was a complete disaster, but I wanted to share with you guys my experience with them because I have been trying them out over this past month. Now you may have seen a short for me um, sharing with you guys this new Bubble Plus One Tinted Mineral Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. It's a zinc oxide, aka inorganic sunscreen, and it's tinted. I found the tint on this to be orangey for me, a little bit orangey. Not as orangey as some, but a, a little bit too orangey. But there's no chalkiness or white cast to this. It's very dewy. And so if you're looking for a matte sunscreen, you're not going to be satisfied with this. It's very, it's very dewy. I don't mind a dewy sunscreen, and so this, you know, the, the sheen on this did not bother me. It wears well under makeup. It's not water resistant. So if you're going to be outdoors during the day for a prolonged period of time, or you're really sweaty, you're not gonna wanna rely on this. Because it's tinted though, the iron oxides potentially can offer some beneficial effects for those of you who deal with hyperpigmentation in terms of helping to protect against visible light. And if you're confused about that, check out my recent video on how to choose a sunscreen. I talk about the different nuances with some of these ingredients and what they can offer you based on your skin type and how your skin reacts to the sun. Uh, so it has the iron oxides in there. The tint is you know, a bit too orange for me, but it's not horrible. And it does have a, a flower extract in it. So if you're allergic to fragrance, it might cross react. But otherwise there's no scent to the product. It doesn't have an, really an aroma or, or an odor. Honestly, it's, it's not bad. This is not one that I would repurchase myself. The hybrid sunscreen from Dermatology, their universal tint, is a much more flattering tint. It's SPF 46. I'm, I'm gonna go with the Dermatology one. I think it looks better. However, I can say from experience that this product does not stain your clothing. Because when I was filming that reel, I got some of it on my clothing. I was wearing a white shirt underneath my robe. I got it on my robe and I got it on my white shirt. And it did in fact come out quite easily. Um, so I can say that for certain, but yeah, uh, it would be a pass for me, but I wanted to chat with you guys about it because I did the short on it, but in the short, it's hard to communicate too much and keep people's attention span. So um, that's a little bit more on that. Not horrible, but not one I would repurchase. Body Proud is a brand that is sold at Walmart and I saw it and we chatted about it together in one of my Walmart shop with me videos. They have a lot of skincare, hair care products, face products, body products, and I saw they have this overnight recovery body mask with retinol. Retinol is a body skincare ingredient beneficial to pursue. We often think of it as a facial anti-aging ingredient for fine lines, wrinkles, age spots, but also can be beneficial on the body provided you tolerate it. And in body care products, it's usually at a very low percentage, you know, and I point that out because people ask me from time to time, is it safe to be applying retinol to such a large surface area of the body? In a body care product, it's going to be at a, a lower concentration. It's, it's unlikely that it's going to be absorbed into the body to, to any harmful extent. When used on the body, retinol can improve some of the visible signs of skin aging on the body, age spots. It also can smooth out skin texture and it can help improve the look of just fine wrinkles on the body, crepiness to a certain extent, although it's not going to replace any volume loss. This also has hyaluronic acid, which is very hydrating, and it has some polyhydroxy acids, which also can help with improving the moisture content of the skin. So this is a retinol for the body and a hydrating gel cream. Now, I question the retinol stability in this because retinol, it's an ingredient where the formulation of the product really matters. Otherwise, retinol can degrade in the product and be completely useless to you. So I, I do, you know, kind of wonder about the retinol in this product. 
this is a new brand, you know, it's not, you know, when it comes to retinol, I always recommend sticking with companies that have a lot of R&D behind them. So uh, question mark if the retinol is super effective in this. It says it's good within six months of opening. Now, what is this product actually like? And did I see any benefit using it? It is a very hydrating gel cream consistency. And when I first applied it, I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be sticky and tacky. But it actually ended up sinking into the skin and did not leave a sticky residue. And objectively speaking, the following day, my skin it does feel very soft, supple, hydrated. And I've used used it um, off and on consistently for a couple of weeks now. And I, I can honestly say that it is a very hydrating gel cream. However, it has fragrance, which I recommend trying to avoid fragrance and leave on products. Uh, it can be irritating. It's not my preference. I don't like fragrance in skincare products, especially when it lingers. I just find that that irritates me. It can give me a headache. The fragrance in this does linger. It's not an off-putting scent though, although I do think it is why I got bit by those mosquitoes. I think it made me more attractive to them. Many people are fine using products with fragrance and it doesn't cause them any issue. It's just not my preference and you know I kind of encourage you all to, uh, to avoid fragrance. Um, but objectively speaking, this actually is kind of a nice product. My one, one thing I will point out that the consistency is really weird. It's very gelatinous. Putting it on, it feels nice. It's not off, off putting. It doesn't pill, but just in the jar, you're like, what is this gloopy stuff? I did find that this left my skin smooth, hydrated, and was not irritating. But given what I said, I do question the stability of the retinol in this, and it would be my preference to not have fragrance. And I do think it is the reason why I got bit by mosquitoes because I typically don't get mosquito bites. For me though, um, I, I'm gonna stick with the Gold Bond Retinol. If you're looking for a body retinol, this has been shared in favorites videos before and it continues to be a favorite. I continue to use it. I recommend it above and beyond this. Um, you know, objectively speaking, from the performance of this, the consistency, it's not bad per se, but this really delivers. Like I, I, I see a little bit more bang for my buck in terms of improving the look of skin radiance on the body using this. It's a thicker consistency, which I really like. Also has peptide in it, which can help again with moisture retention. It has ceramides, which are good for the moisture barrier. So this really meets my needs. It's what I like. It will continue to be my new, as of 2023, holy grail body retinol because it's, it's just been a gem. Um, and a lot of you guys have purchased it after hearing me talk about it. And I've seen comments from you guys about how much you like it. So for me, I will continue to use this. I would not, I would not go back to this, but I wanted to share it with you because, you know, we discovered these products together when I go shopping in the stores. And so I like to try them out just to kind of have a sense of how they compare to things that I use, uh, you know, how, wh what's on the market that is competitive and, you know, in the sort of same budget category, if you will. And this is not bad. It is not bad, but you know, it's not one I would repurchase. For my hair, oh my gosh, these flower hair claw clamps I got in a pack on Amazon, all different colors. I have the orange one here. And I was actually a little doubtful ordering these. I thought, A, they're probably gonna just fall apart, break, or they won't hold my hair right. I was, I, I was so wrong. These hold my hair in place really well. They're pretty strong and they're so cute. They really just liven things up and you get a ton of colors in the package. Um, I have them all here. You get quite a few, all different colors and it just livens up. If you do like a French twist with a claw clamp, these will elevate that look for you because you can just do two right next to each other and it just really looks cute. So I have been loving those. I don't like to have my hair touching my face. You know, when I get on here to film, I, I take my hair down like right before I film. And then as soon as, as soon as I'm done filming the video, I put my hair back up. Uh, so these are great. They're great uh, to just, you know, they, they match a lot of different outfits. They're affordable. They hold up well as I throw them down. I, I have really been, jazzed about those. Um, okay, and then I also purchased a new eyeshadow palette, two new eyeshadow palettes to, to give a try. Um, but this one from NYX, I've actually rather been enjoying. It's pretty affordable. It's the Ultimate Shadow Palette Warm Neutrals. You get 16 shades 
And when I first started using this, I was getting a little bit of fallout from some of the shades, but overall it's been really good and performed really well. The colors are, you're not gonna create some kind of special effects look or anything drastic with this, but it's a really good basic eyeshadow palette. You get a lot of shades in here that you can play around with and do different eyeshadow looks that are good for everyday purposes, work purposes. And I find the shadows do just as well as some of the higher end brands. Yeah, so far I really liked this. And then last but not least is my new comforter from Sleeping Glow. Oh my gosh, this has been amazing. So they came out with a comforter that's ventilated and it has made a huge difference. I mean, the Sleep and Glow Omnia pillow for me has made a dramatic difference in my sleep quality, the way that my face looks when I wake up in the morning. But the comforter, it's like sleeping under a temperature regulated cloud. The vents allow for dissipation of heat. That way you don't overheat under the blanket. If you're someone who gets night sweats, you get really hot at night, you need to try this comforter because the vents will help keep you cool. The fabric is really cool on the skin. One thing that I've always found when I sleep at night is like, having a blanket over me I need, but then as I go through the night, I get a little too warm. So I have to kick a leg out, throw an arm out. You know, I like to sleep on my back, but you know that whole thing of turning over to the cool side. So all of this back and forth to thermoregulate under a regular blanket, this comforter really helps to address that. Like it keeps you at the right temperature. Getting overheated can really disrupt your sleep. So this has been amazing for me. You know, I, I am always trying to optimize my sleep conditions because I'm a really light sleeper. The slightest little nuisance, buzz, sound, thing, you know, touching me will wake me up. <laughs> so anything I can do to minimize sleep disruption, I'm going to do it. And this has made a huge difference. Uh, I've noticed, especially, you know, now that it's summer and it's so hot, like I have my fans going, I have the AC, but you still get overheated with the blanket, but you need the blanket because of the fans. And it's just, you know, a back and forth, like how do I thermoregulate optimally? And this blanket really, really helps a lot. So what I do actually, I have, I have this cooling blanket too that I bought uh, a couple of years ago from Costco. Um, and so what I actually do is I, I lay that down and I, I, I lie on, the, on top of that blanket and then I have the ventilated comforter over me. And that combination, the cool sandwich, it has been amazing. It's like, I'm cool, but I'm not cold. It's perfect. It's, it's really good for hot temperatures, especially. All right, y'all, that's everything that I have been liking and loving over this past month. I hope you guys are having a wonderful summer. Let me know in the comments what you have been enjoying. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.